Isn't it funny? I never liked her name. I what? don't. I, I, I hope that's not terribly disappointing, but Lynette Scavo. Scavo always sounds like a skin disease. Oh, you got a, you got a Scavo <laughs> on. I see it. Um, I told that to Doug, and he was like, you're crazy. That's a great name. I love our names. Um, Lynette is um, a harried mother. I don't, I don't know if that's a tautology. Maybe every mother is harried. She uh, feels like she's drowning in motherhood, which I've often felt like, um, except she has, much, she has many more good reasons to be drowning in motherhood than I do. She's ambitious. She acts before she thinks. Um, she can be intensely loyal and loving, and she can also be very um, harsh and abrupt. Um, Eva actually turned to me and she went, you know how you're like your character? And I said, no, how? I said, I'm tired and wearing bad clothes. She said, no, that you bite before you bark. I go, I do? And she goes, yeah. So maybe Lynette had a little of that. Um, she certainly had, um, she, you know, I always wanted her to be gentler with her husband. I always, it always upset me that they would sort of, you know, bring out, maybe because it was dramatic and funny, but they'd sort of bring out her, her bitchy side. And, um, that always bothered me, but maybe that's, that's what they needed to do. Um... And I think she always means well. She's trying to fix things. It just goes awry. You mentioned her clothing. How important were her wardrobe and her styling like to her character? For me, it was very important because I was coming in with two young kids. And as I told you before, you know, I was a rundown, tired mom. And it was TV and it was ABC. It's network. And the last thing they want you to do is look ugly or disheveled. I mean, nowadays, you totally can. I mean... I didn't wear any makeup for the first season of American Crime. Um, but I was very clear about, look, this is how you dress if you're a tired mom. I need button-ups button ups if I'm nursing. She's always going to have food on her clothes. She doesn't have time for fancy shoes. She doesn't have time to shop. You know, sometimes when your kids are little... The only way you know day from night is because you go, oh, it's daytime, I'm in clothes, or oh, it's nighttime, I'm in pajamas, but not because you're aware of what's going on in the outside world. So I remember talking to the wonderful costumer, Kate Adair, and um, we'd go shopping and I'd go, no, she, she wouldn't have money for that. And Kate really got behind it and said, oh, okay, good, okay, good. I have to say, my mother came to me and went, can't you ever wear nice clothes? Does she have to look like that? <laughs> Um, but I think that was important because, you know, that said, I had my hair done every day. I had makeup on every day, but I was hoping to not give this unrealistic version of motherhood. I'm sure some mothers go, go through that, go through motherhood with great aplomb and always look fantastic. But boy, I sure didn't. I remember talking to Sabrina Wind, who came on as a producer of Desperate Housewives, and kind of Mark's right-hand man, right-hand woman. And um, I was dealing with two small kids and going to work and feeling incredibly guilty, crushing, crushing guilt. And I was talking to Sabrina about it, and this goes back to Lynette, and she said, you know what? They did a study, and they asked a gazillion women who work outside the home or work part-time out of the home, what percentage of your life, do you feel guilty about being a mother away from the home? And it came up with something like 89%. And she looked at that, Sabrina looked at that and said, yeah, I'm one of those. And she said, and then they asked the same amount of men the same question, men who work outside of the home or partly outside of the home. And she said, guess the percentage of men. And I said, uh, 40, no, 50, no, 30. Goose egg, zero. And Sabrina said, ever since then, I'm not guilty about coming to work. Now, I love that as a North Star. I could never get there. And so I think as I was possibly, I'm sure the writers came up with this, and I'm sure I talked about it a lot, but the guilt of staying home and working. And I'm glad that they portrayed that on the show because it's a real thing. And, you know, when you have kids, 
at least my experience was when you have kids, and I think that was Lynette's experience, you kind of go, I'm a mother. Your old um, identity ceases to exist. You go, ah, I used to be a mover and a shaker in the corporate world. You know, I, I now I'm worried about macaroni and cheese all day. I I used to, and, and it seems bifurcated completely. It was like a, a guillotine comes down. And you know that being a mother is probably the most important job you'll have your entire life. And yet, it can't be your whole, it, maybe it can, but for a lot of women, you go, this cannot be my whole entire job. It just can't be. I have to have a world outside. And so I think that was um, those storylines of Lynette going back to work and loving being back at work, but then trying to juggle the family and trying to nurse while she was working and, um, you know, her husband stepping in and being the stay-at-home dad and how that affected their, their relationship. I think those are all things that are reflected in society and certainly happen. Um and I, I remember after the show was done, I started this website called What the Flicka, and, um, and it was basically because of my, experiencing, my experience with motherhood that I didn't find a whole lot of agreement or companionship out there for, and also because after Desperate, I was, luckily enough, I was part of the mom group. You know, everybody had their own favorite housewives, and the mom seemed to like me, and I didn't want to let that group go. And I wanted to create a safe space for many different experiences in parenting, not just like, isn't it the best thing you've ever done in your life? And one of the first uh, blogs I wrote was about that, I, that I'm drowning. I'm drowning in the guilt of motherhood. And I certainly think that's a reflection. Uh, the show is, you know, representing America and possibly the guilt that mothers feel. But I got letters from Paris and England and Turkey and Italy and uh, many, many, Denmark of mothers going, I feel the exact same way. I feel guilty all the time. I feel guilty when I go to work. Then I'm home and I feel like I'm drowning. And so I think Mark caught on to something that I think is pretty universal.